All right, here's a challenge question for you. And can you answer it in 30 seconds or less? So we've got a red laser beam that enters this hall of mirrors and bounces around a bit. And then it exits the hall of mirrors at an angle of X. The question is, can you find the angle X? Now note, we can use the law of reflection here, which states that when light hits a mirror and leaves the mirror, it will hit and leave at the same angle. So for example, this red laser beam hits at an angle of 40 degrees. That's why it exits the mirror also at an angle of 40 degrees, which is shown by the orange ray. So once again, can you find the measure of angle X and can you do it in less than 30 seconds? Go for it and then I'll tell you the answer. Now let's start by observing that the orange ray creates a triangle, in fact, a right triangle with the two mirrors. And since we know one of the angles is 40 degrees, that's the light ray bouncing off the mirror. And since we know that the two mirrors meet at an angle of 90, we can figure out the missing angle from that triangle is 50 degrees. Well, let's go a step down the line. The orange ray bounces off to become the yellow ray. And so that also leaves the mirror at an angle of 50 degrees because of that law of reflection that we talked about before. Now look at that yellow ray. It makes a triangle with two other mirrors. So we've got a 50 degree angle and a 75 degree angle. We can find the missing angle. That's 55 degrees for the last angle of that yellow triangle. Hey, look, our friend, the law of reflection comes back again. So the green ray bounces off the mirror also at an angle of 55 degrees. But then what? Now let's observe that in the middle of a diagram, we have a quadrilateral. And let's note that we can find its interior angles. So starting over at the red and orange rays, we've got a 40 degree angle and a 40 degree angle, which means the interior angle of the quadrilateral has to be 100 because together, those three add up to 180 degrees, which is the straight line of the mirror. We'll do the same thing at the bottom of the diagram, the orange and the yellow ray. Well, those are each 50 apiece, leaving 80 for the interior angle in that quadrilateral, because again, 180 degrees for the full straight line that is the mirror. And then on the left side of the diagram, we've got two 55 degree angles, leaving a 70 degree angle to be the interior angle of our quadrilateral, because we use the straight edge of the mirror is 180 degrees in total. Now we have three of the angles of our quadrilateral, and remember that quadrilaterals have a total of 360 degrees of angle interior, which means our missing angle must be 110. Now let's look at the angle adjacent to that. The adjacent angle must be 70 because the green ray creates a straight line, another 180 degrees. And finally, we're almost there, folks. In this triangle, we know a 70 degree angle and a 40 degree angle, which means the missing angle is 70 degrees. And that's the angle that the green ray hits the mirror. So once again, using the law of reflection, we can conclude that X must also be 70 degrees. It's gonna bounce off that last mirror at an angle of 70 degrees. That's week's Think Fast. Hope you got it. We'll see you next week.